So let's get started. Grab a drink, settle in, and join me on this journey to revolutionize website search. Let's go. As Carl Sagan once said, if you want to make an apple pie from scratch, first you must invent the universe. And with that in mind, let's go through the prerequisites for today's exercise. The first prerequisite is that you will need a Vectara account. You can do this by heading to the Vectara homepage and clicking the Get Started button. If you haven't done already, pause the video and go and set this up. You can do this for free. Once you have a corpus, you'll need to go and grab uh, the corpus ID. You'll also want to put some data in there. Uh, when you upload your documents into this corpus, you'll need to make sure uh, on the metadata when you upload them that you have the URL specified. For the purposes of our demo, um, we're going to be using this uh, corpus that I created earlier. Um, it's a, essentially an index of all of our documentation on our website to sort of replicate the uh, query that you're actually going to have when you uh, run um, a, a search across our documentation. And it was actually quite nice to see that the index versus what we provide is actually very, very similar because they're both powered ironically by the same thing. Um, the other really nice thing is crawling all of the uh, information on our website, which is quite considerable, is actually only 431 kilobytes, which when you consider the size of the website, it's much bigger than that. That's because uh, when we actually index the data, it's a lot smaller once it gets ingested into Vectara. Now with this, uh, we'll be copying the Corpus ID 314. Um, for our integration. The other thing we need is a, the access control. This is how um, our React Search component is actually going to access um, the website. And you can see down here, we've got you know our OAuth 2 apps. Ignore that. We're coming down to the API keys. Uh, so API keys are a bit more lightweight and nice for things like this type of component to use. Um, so we're gonna click create an API key. We could do it here or over here. Now, for this one, it's pre-selected the corpora it's going to be uh, using, which is just Vectara Docs. Um, we'll call this one React Search. And in this case, we only need query. We don't need to index as well. So if you are doing a read-write application, uh, maybe with some uh, JavaScript to actually you know, index documents, you'd use this one. We just want the query service uh, on the corpora. Now, this is only providing essentially read-only access to this single corpora here, which again, aligns more with our, our policies of least privilege. So we can click create over here like this. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to essentially copy the API key, paste that in your favorite sort of temporary editor. Um, you copy the customer ID, uh, this one over here, and then you also copy um, back on the top level over here, the corpus ID. And, and these are essentially the three key things we need to plug in to React Search to make it work and you know integrate into your website. 